and I'm a mother of two and I'm actually an education assistant in a grade five classroom and never in a million years that I was going to be doing something like this but basically what happened to me was um, in the grade five classroom that I work in it's as part of their grade they're supposed to be talking about something that is on their heart a devotion and a boy named Rain comes into class one day and completely flipped my world upside down he brings a $5 bill in and says to the class, I decided that for an activity, I will give, give it to the person who can come up with the most worthwhile cause that they will give the money to. So he hands out little scrap pieces of paper and says to them, Write down a sentence describing what you would do with my $5. He starts reading them out to the class and he says, Wow, these are all awesome ideas. You've given me some very great ideas on how you would spend this money. But I've actually changed, changed my mind. mind. And he takes a pair of scissors and cuts up the $5 bill. What? what he said next is the reason why we're here. He says, I know that many of you felt frustrated that I would waste something that is so valuable like money, but I think about how God must feel when we waste our lives. But how do you think God feels when he's giving you one life to live and you're not living it to your fullest? At that moment, I just felt so convicted and I felt like someone was shaking me, wake up. Like, I was talking with my husband, told him, I feel like my calling is to help in a developing country somehow. And he says, well, what about where your parents are born? Nicaragua. I booked a ticket to Nicaragua. I brought my dad with me and we went down just to see how we could help. I feel like what I'm trying to do is not gonna be um, a big enough impact. There's so, so much need here. Um, it's like uh, never ending, honestly never ending. It just sparked an idea that if I could create a business that could create jobs for these people and pay them ethically, that they could support themselves and help their families and get back on their feet. So now I was on a mission to look for artisans to help me create what I had in my mind. And while I was down there, I met two artisans that handcraft leather shoes and leather bags. So together we started designing and creating what is now Natsua. Is now Natsua. Is now Natsua. Is now Natsua. Every time you're buying something from Natsua, you're actually creating jobs for people in Nicaragua. But not only that, a portion of all the profits are going back into Nicaragua to help educate and feed kids. I'm just one person and I can't do this alone, so I'm asking you guys to join my tribe so we can make change in Nicaragua.